right, many thanks for staying tuned. My guest this morning is John K. Azano. I'm part of his friends now, so we call him Long John. <laughs> he is an actor and entertainment pundit. And then, of course, Adachi Brownson. He is a youth advocate and author, founder of Global Impact Initiative. And the topic this morning is tackling the menace of emotional and physical abuse in a relationship. Hmm. We have been talking about a lot, but before yes. we went on the break, you were saying something about the deep... Yeah, deep emotional, emotional abuse. Emotional abuse, yes. right? Yes. You know, I was saying for, the, for other ones like sexual coercion and co, mm. you are able to realize that this is an abuse. Right. Okay. But when it comes to the emotional abuse itself, mm. especially in a relationship, mm. where there is control of money, Mm -hmm. Control of what you wear, mm. the friends you keep. Don't wear this. Wear this. I don't like this friend. Great. The, mm. That form, of, and then you experience isolation and stuff. They isolate you from family and friends. Mm. You know, it. You 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 don't even realize it's an abuse. But if you are listening to us now, we are telling you this is an emotional abuse. And anytime you realize this kind of things, you have to step back mm. and ask questions. Now stepping back don't engage the abuser mm -hmm. don't engage the abuser mm -hmm. step back and seek support right. there are other institutions and professionals that provide support for people such as such as you know even i was saying it's this this are uh, uh, these abuses are defined under the uh, domestic violence act right. so dofsu is there mm. you know we have counselors we have even some doctors mm. okay that that are well trained to provide this support but when you take this to some of your friends, and I, I'm advising people who are friends to this, uh, these victims and stuff, do mm. not apportion blame. Do not judge them. Mm. Do not even give them a lot of advice. Mm. Because you are not a professional. Right. You know, sometimes we feel like, because I've also been through this before, then mm -hmm. you should tackle it this way. But we may go through the same problems, but may come out differently. differently. You get it? So when you are, you, you, are, uh, uh, you are a friend of a victim, mm. To not give them too much, uh, so much advice, right. just refer them to mm. appropriate quarters for maybe right. support. Right, Johnny, do abusers change? Can there ever be a change when you are an abuser? Yeah, sometimes mm. it depends on the person. Mm. But that they accept that really I was abusing, I was an abuser, and I'm an abuser. Right. If you don't accept your state or what you are or who you are, mm -hmm. they can't be changed. Mm. So they do change, mm. but it depends how they are told mm. that this you are doing is not that right. right. Oh, really? Okay, then it's true. The, the moment the person comes to realization mm. that indeed I was faulting in some way, somehow, mm -hmm. then the person knows, okay, then I have to change towards my partner. So they do change. But to, for you to realize it, mm. or for them to be told that you are actually abusing, is the, what makes it very difficult. Mm. Some of these things they are saying here, because it is emotional, and it's about relationship, it's about mm. love and marriage matters. Mm. It is difficult to point some of these things out. I see. Unlike physical abuse. I that see. one, the evidence that Bruce can talk about it. But when it comes emotional, it is difficult mm. to point this out. But when a professional or someone begins to, or is actually able to tell you that this is what you are doing and it's wrong, mm. and they realize it, they accept it, then I think change can come. Okay, so we have just a few minutes to wrap up, unfortunately. I want us to focus... Um, on the men, say something to them, your final words. Whenever a man is going through an abuse, what should he do? Okay, so men, we, think, we tend to seem to be more like, mm. I'm a man, yeah. we keep things to ourselves. That's why I said we should. We should. Please, mm -hmm. men are equal abuse mm. as women. Of course. If you are a victim. And with theirs, they don't even talk, right? Yeah. Yes. They keep it yes. in yeah. them. Keep, yes. Please don't wait till you break down. Mm. When you think that you are, something is wrong with you, mm. please open up. Mm. Com you see, we are, we are, we are society. Right. Before you seek professional help, mm. at least there should be friends that you can confine in. There should be people that you can talk to and they can guide you. Mm. But if it's not, you are not getting the solution, then you seek professional help. Right. So Ralph men should, yeah. should not mm. keep this to themselves. Your final words? So uh, I want to say, when it comes to physical abuse, mm. that is when the gap between men and women 
uh, victims were, uh, is very wide. Mm. But when it comes to emotional abuse, the gap is very close. Mm. Meaning men are equally emotionally abused every time. So if you realize that things are not right, you, you feel any sort of these abuses we are talking about, tell us, speak out, talk to someone, seek support, mm. go somewhere and then talk to somebody. Now, one thing too is that we are not focusing on the abuses. Mm -hmm. in, in our settings, we don't focus on helping the abusers. Mm. The abusers also need help. Sometimes they don't know they are, they they are, are abusing yeah. That's for their powers or whatever. Unconsciously. unconsciously yeah. Yes, mm. they don't know. Mm. So we need to focus on them as well. They need right. help as well. Right. And then help them to also change and whatever it is. Mm. So emotional abuses and these physical abuses are very serious mm. issues and it's we should broad. pay attention to Probably it. Probably we have to do this again yeah. so that we talk about the kids as yeah, well. Of it, that's yeah. of it. Right, but thanks so much for passing through. It's been great having you here. So this is where we end this week's edition on the Breakfast Live show. My name is Lebene Abroko. A very big thank you going out to Patrick Clothing for this beautiful outfit. Please enjoy your weekend. We'll be right back. <laughs>